How did I... How would I talk? So, I should probably explain what Pova is, because now my, my brain's on this. Um, so, for those of you that don't live in, like, uh, Portland, Maine... Or, no, not Portland, Maine. For those of you that don't live in Portland, Oregon, sorry. I even... I know better than to call this Portland, Maine. I've been to Portland, Maine. A lot of people were excited that I was going to Portland, Maine. Um, Maine, but whatever. It doesn't matter. Um... So, what was I going to say? Uh, so, to everybody that doesn't live in Portland, Oregon, there's a event for streamers, mostly streamers, some YouTubers and stuff, uh, called POBA, and it's Portland Online Broadcasters Association, and it's like a meetup for streamers and stuff to, to get together and schmooze or just hang out. And I've been to it a couple of times, and it's neat, but I always have trouble. I think I, I mean, I, I've talked about this a lot in the past, uh, ish, uh, especially kind of recently. Um, but I've have, I've have trouble schmoozing, especially with like people that haven't been uh, streaming much um, before, like you know, have only just started, and you know, are kind of just just kind of learning the ropes. Because uh, I've, I've been there, and I actually totally understand that. Um, how, did, how would I describe it? It's... Most people I know have quit YouTube and Twitch. And so at this point, it's very, very... It's hard for me to immediately say, like, yeah, I'm super down for, like, meeting new people because most of the time, uh... Oh, it does not bounce between the flames. But that said, that rolled that area. Uh, hi. Curses. But maybe good stuff. So it might be worth it. Probably just golden popcorn. Yeah, these are worth it. One who needs to find another bomb upgrade, or just never use it when I'm around enemies. Uh, but like almost every every channel that honestly has ever even been made on Twitch or YouTube, uh, likely has shuttered at this point. And there's always like new people to take over and stuff. But it's hard for me to get committed to the idea of like meeting new people that I might. That might just disappear on me one day. Um, and I realize that, like, that's exactly how life works. That some people will just ghost you. Uh, let's see. Ooh, these are some things. Some better than others. I'm gonna grab this first. No, nope, that's not the one I wanted, but that's okay. I guess we'll just grab Gordon's tunic. And the keys. Do you need a hug? Eh! It's, this is more of a kind of practical thing than a, like, I'm upset about it thing. Um, you don't know how to train the trainees. Except for it's like, I know how to, I know how to train the trainees. Like, that's, that's less of an issue. I'd probably an, be an okay, uh, manager for, like, YouTubers and whatnot. Uh, beyond the fact that it's generally not worth it. Um... But it's, it's kind of like a... How would I, how would I put it? Because I'm not trying to like put this as like any kind of rudeness thing. Yeah, but the train doesn't stick around long, so why bother? Yeah, and that's, that's kind of it for me. It's like, I pref I'd love to meet and greet and interact with a lot more people. It's just, like, my success rate for actually meeting people that last on Twitch or YouTube is, like, one person. One and a half. And then, otherwise, it's like, yeah, I, I guess I'm friends with Stumped, for example. Um, but they, they existed long before I ever came along. Um... And they will probably continue to exist, but they're very, very deeply kind of ensconced in their own group. 
So, limited room for me to, like, interject there, but that's also okay. Hello, Pilfer Ring. What is this? Mysterious box that invites calamity. Freaking sure, why not? Kurtz's stash. We'll figure out what that does. And your profession's odd because a lot of your networking is done online. Yep. Oh boy! Oh, you need to get a lot of curses. Open the stash. Oh, I, I see how that's supposed to work. Okay, well, that's fine. Um, eh. It's a Heart of Darkness reference. Huh. Increase sweet swing damage. Yeah, that's that's not worthwhile. Uh, let's see. Let's grab the transmutogen. We're gonna just reload this. Ah. Oh. But like, it's a good example. Uh, discover more treasure rooms. You know, at this point, that's actually kind of okay. Uh, but yeah, go back and watch any of my, like... Well, the easy example would actually be go back and watch, uh, any of my Garry's Mod videos. Every single person that I ever played with Garry's Mod, uh, played with on Garry's Mod has quit, I believe. Like, every single one of those. Which is a very weird feeling. Pick up gold and get a discount at the shop. I must... I've got to be close to it if I soak it up then. Yeah. If you get the hat, you get 10,000 gold. It's a whip. Cool. Let's see. So Wander Bot's trying to tell us he has the touch of death for new streamers. I mean, I think I think Twitch and YouTube have the uh, have the touch of touch of death for all YouTubers and streamers. I mean, it's it's true of almost like any business in general. Most most businesses fold within their first year of existence. And that's more of just kind of a fact of, of life. Uh, sure. I can only do this, like, twice. That ain't worth it. Uh, I think it's just a fact of life slash, like, modern times. It's just that, like, chasing your dreams is really freaking hard. And it's kind of a mix of, like, not everybody is cut out for it. Wow. I demolished that thing. Uh... Not everybody's cut out for it, and not everybody is in a position to actually make it work. Uh, you know, I got I got lucky because I hopped in. I'm gonna be honest. At this point, I hopped in on on Twitch and YouTube really early. E Robo, Robo is dangerous. Um, but years ago, <laughs> it's really interesting. I, I see a lot of discussion um, threads specifically about like, is it too late to start a YouTube channel? And the answer is like, no, but you know, every day you wait is, you know, only puts off, puts it off further, I guess. Um, but, like, I had tons of people leaving posts, like, the day I started were like, is YouTubing dead? Or Let's Play is dead. And I still see the same threads go by, and I think it's still, like, super possible. I think the, uh, the boom is over, and now it's, now it's more kind of people getting set in their ways. And there, there are some people that, like, rise meteorically, but generally you have to, like, really put the elbow grease in at this point. Every day you wait means a thousand, uh, a thousand more new people you have to go up against for views. Yeah, I mean, it's, I'd say it's a thousand, five hundred people quit and a thousand people start. Um, and then all of them inevitably <laughs> probably stop eventually. Let's see, do I just start chucking bombs around in hopes of finding secrets? It might not be a bad idea. I'm surprised he does not get pissed at me for doing that, but still. Uh, I doubt there's a secret room on that. And so... So, for, effectively, is this this kind of entrenches the hard, harsh reality of... Uh, networking is more often an effort, of, effort in... I don't want to say futility, because... Futility is is not what I'm technically going for. Oh, you got the whip. No need to waste bombs. Uh, really? Does the whip just tell you? Does the whip just show you where the secrets are?
Because I've only found one of them. The problem with streaming is there is no health coverage. I mean, there kind of is. You just have to pay for it yourself. The real problem is... Uh... Yeah, that's any self-made job, though. Yup. And, like, health insurance sucks. If you're in the U.S., it sucks a lot. If you're in another country, you might have an easier time of it. Um, Like, I don't know how much you guys have to pay for health insurance if you do have to pay for health insurance. But it is it is prohibitively expensive if you throw, throw on all those other bills. Ow. Why did I... Wow, he did 43 damage to me. I gotta be... I gotta be careful. Robo is pissed as hell. But that's okay. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Where am I going? Chest room? I don't have keys, though. Oh, you know what? I got this. Actually carry potions with me, just in case of this. Nope. Can't break that. Talking about my healthcare with Americans is weird because you're in Australia. I am so jealous of uh, universal healthcare. Uh, the fact that the U.S. still doesn't have it is an embarrassment. More than anything else. I know some people, like, try and come up with reasons for it, but, like... Uh, I know some people that make just enough money to afford uh, rent and, like, living expenses, and the idea of, like... Six, seven hundred dollars for health insurance on top of that is just like, yeah, that ain't happening. Not to mention if, like, anything terrible happens to... Oh, hey, we actually do have keys now. Yes! Like, I can, I can understand some, like, really free market arguments, but, uh, healthcare? Fire. I mean, just police in general. Any kind of emergency services should never cost extra, because that's super scary. Six to seven hundred a month for insurance. Uh, depends on the uh, depends on the person. Admittedly, uh, it's six to seven hundred for Shell and myself for health and dental. But yes, I I effectively pay a third of what I pay in rent on health insurance, and it is wild. And, mind you, that is, like, this most super basic plan that you can get. Uh, that covers, like, cat uh, catastrophic and whatnot. Uh, so, like, if I break an arm, for example, I pretty much have to pay for it out of pocket up to $15,000. Then, huh, I don't know what the red exclamation mark is. Uh, up to $15,000. Then, uh, then insurance kicks in. And... Covers everything else. Which is mixed feeling. So you don't have OHP? Uh, what is OHP? Let's see, there's an ex -health healthcare executive on Twitter saying, spent. So much money trying to convince people that medical care for all will eliminate choice that nobody realized there's no choice under the current free market. Or even before. I mean, I have, like, a little bit of a choice, but my choice is between three different extremely expensive insurance. Um. Oh. Regional healthcare plan for Oregon. Uh, I hasn't shown up as an option for me. It, if it's a thing, then I haven't heard of it. Nobody's Nobody's mentioned it to me. Uh, I'm gonna just... Nope! Shit! God damn it. Shift is the bomb button, which is also the uh, shift tab to take a look at the browser. I almost killed myself there. Alright, let's see if I can get a little bit more. I was actually gonna Google something, and that didn't work. Alright, whatever. We got plenty of healing around here, so it's not so bad. That's good.
Admittedly, I just signed up for a new health insurance policy, so I might have to wait until next next year, which sucks a little bit, but oh well. Uh, but I don't know. I uh, politics talk. I uh, fair disclaimer. I'm probably going to be a lot more um, open about political stuff uh, over the next like year or so, just because like it's becoming harder and harder for me to not talk about it. Transmute a carried relic. No, I don't want to do that. In the off chance it destroys what I currently have. Uh, let's grab the next antimatter. These will save my ass. Alright, time to go fight Jerkman McVoidface. I, we might be okay. Oh, it's, it's going to be hard to talk about healthcare as we go in here. But... TLDR, my opinion on, like, healthcare and whatnot, is... I would not mind making considerably less money in life if I knew I never had to worry about uh, financial expenditures ever. Uh, or not expenditures ever, like, injuries, sicknesses, or whatnot bankrupting me ever. Because at that point, that's gambling. It's like, hey, by the way, you got cancer. You are now poor. It's like, ah, oh, shit. And you know what? If I win the lottery and never, never, ever get sick and die at the the ripe age of extremely old, um, without having any medical problems whatsoever, you know, cool. But I'd still be fine being slightly poor when I die, knowing that I might have saved somebody else from, uh, from extreme poverty as a result of, you know, my tax dollars going into healthcare. And I kind of would hope most people would kind of be in the same, uh, would be in the same mentality. Unfortunately, uh, crabs in a bucket, everybody, uh, it is crabs in a bucket, right? For everybody, um, that's cool. So now he puts out the fires. Well, they've definitely balanced this, so it's a lot sh less shitty. I'll give that a lot, a lot of credit. Because this used to be a lot harder. Whoops. Oh, you can even tell when it's still tracking you or not. Oh, this boss is so much nicer to fight now. Hey, this means I get to start playing Undermine again because I'm not going to get super mad at it. Because now I can actually just skill the bosses without having to worry about it just like completely just blasting me to death with semi-unfair mechanics. And dental and eye care should be part of the plan, too. Ow! They should be able to drink while I run. Holy crap. Okay. So two of these are going to chase me. Oh, that's fine. We almost got him down. This would be significantly less dangerous. Oh. Uh, let's see, Keystone, got me the thing. Perfect. Yeah, freaking Undermine's back now. I'm actually enjoying this. They really did balance these. I still want the upgrades to get retooled so they're more interesting and something to use Thorium on, but at least we're here. There looks to be a strange shaped keyhole. Ah, uh, sir, we have a visitor, another lowborn. Oh, great, just what we need is another one of your kind interfering with our business. Because of your sort, then we're in this bind. The king learned that there were peasants roaming the dungeons, and even worse, the Halls of Din, a sacred place. But he wasn't happy. Now we're supposed to find our way into this terrible cavern. I don't know if like you ever make it here. Perhaps, sir, this peasant can help us. Are you crazy? I wouldn't get caught dead working alongside. Wait, is that the key for this door? Hey, peasant, did I ever tell you how much I appreciate the working class? What Mr. Toadvine is trying to say is, do you think you could help us out with this lock? I've heard this cavern's incredibly deadly, and no one really knows what lies by beyond that door. Off, off I go then. All right, there's work to do. See you around, peasant. Or not, I don't care. Man, you suck. Yeah. <laughs> then back to the topic after this boss. I mean, I think just the problem is this this weird mentality of. Uh, you guys have probably heard the phrase before, like I got mine, and also ties into the whole like crabs in a bucket thing of just like. A lot of people seem to think that they exist in this, like, weird vacuum. Hi. Cavern's map. 
Uh, they exist in this weird void. I think I can blast that open? Okay, cool. Okay. I'm pretty sure this is the warp guy. Yep. Can't do anything with this. Uh, but that, like, I've heard a lot of people will just kind of, like, hand wave collective responsibility. Ooh. Enemies drop gold when killed. Increase throw damage. Oh, both of these are really, really good. Uh, what do you guys think? More money, more damage. People are saying, Daka, Daka it is. Okay, healing is less, less effective. That's fine. Should be fine anyway. Can I hit these? Oh, I can. Oh, those are the ones with the money in them. Good to know now. Uh, but I, I hear this argument a lot when I'm, like, confronted with, uh, like, financial and economic plans where it's just like, I don't want to spend my taxes on somebody else, you know, welfare queens and stuff. And I hate that art. Oh, boy. Freaking laser turtles. Um, but you know what? If it means somebody... If it means, like... The country as a whole has a better life. I think I will always just be pro having less money myself. Okay, the answer is that's not a good thing. Stay away from that. And Throbo burns himself out. Perfect. Not to mention, like, I, I know if everybody didn't have to worry about health insurance, we'd probably have a lot more people going into business for themselves and coming up with interesting things, and not to mention, be happier. Like, there was a definite emotional value uh, uptick in value. I don't know. The moment uh, Shell and I moved out on our own and didn't have to worry about... Um, didn't have to worry about living in my, my parents' basement... Mm, don't think I need that as much. Let's grab antimatter though, because that effectively protects me from a free hit. Uh, and like I can, I I can still imagine what it's like to not have those problems anymore. Let's grab toughness, minor famine again. Dang it! I guess I could have waited a bit. Something weird going on with governments trying to keep people unhappy and working bad jobs. Well, I mean it's not governments. That's that's just a um. It's a really, it's a really short-sighted, uh, I'm gonna say economic plan. Oh, I don't just set that on fire anymore. That's weird. Uh, it's a really short-sighted economic plan that more or less says the less you pay your, your employees, uh, the more you're going to be able to make in short-term, short-term gains. Um, and you see this a lot in business where, like, a uh, company will, will hire a new CEO and they'll make, like, absolutely stupid stupid uh, decisions that everyone hates but it makes them a lot of a lot of money in the short term even if it ow even if it pisses off anybody that ever loved their product you have exactly five curses remove five curses that's interesting uh let's see wander hasn't played cap uh risk of rain yet wander hasn't played capitalism yet no nope, i'm playing that um i haven't played risk of rain yet people decided they want wanted me to do this here But, like, you guys probably have seen this specifically with, uh... I mean, easy example, Blizzard. And, like, Ubisoft and a couple other companies. Uh, definitively are are going for, like, short-term profits instead of, um... Uh, short-term profits instead of, like, a long-term fan base anymore. Back in the day, Blizzard cared very much about their image. Now, Blizzard cares about how much money they can make in the next WoW expansion. And you know what? I'll give him credit. Like, I might actually play the next WoW expansion, but it hurts a little bit. And, like, there's going to be a certain point where I'm just like, eh, not anymore. As a type 1 di diabetic, I can attest to the fear of not having health insurance. Ugh, I can't even imagine. Worst I've ever had was pneumonia. And maybe broke a toe. I've been pretty health healthy my entire life which is quite nice music here is absolutely banging let me see if i can turn this up a bit 
Oh wait, no, it's right here. Is that enough now? We can go higher than this. But yeah, I, I in general, I mean, part of the reason why I'm super pro indie games, for example, is almost every indie studio is self-owned. And almost all of them are fairly, like, nice and moral and whatnot. There are some really bad ones. Like, I've definitely, I've definitely had to cancel some series because the developers are awful people. But those are kind of few and far between. Ooh, Keyblade. Would be great if I actually had keys. Game development's a lot more expensive now uh, than when many beloved companies first started, but there's definitely a feeling of greed with AAA. It, yeah, I mean, there's certain things that I've kind of grown to accept with it. Uh, food dupes itself, items dupes it, dupe themselves. I guess I'll grab the popcorn. Items are pretty cheap. Um, hmm. I don't care about food duping itself so much. Let's grab this. Let's grab the potion of plenty. Chug that. Okay, freeloaders draw. I don't think I really need too much of this stuff. Get rid of that, but still. Oh, but yeah, I, I'm just so much happier supporting developers that I know are um, are generally self-employed or like small teams with good management. Uh, so, for example, uh, there's a what's the company? Stardock. I absolutely love certain Stardock games, and the company as a whole has some like. Whoops, probably don't hit the bomb guy. Well, actually hit the bomb guy. It's a good idea. Um, I like Stardust games, and I rather like some of their employees. Uh, I had some nice long conversations with one of them a while back, and I feel super guilty because I pretty much will not play uh, any Stardock games as long as their CEO is still uh, running things because the guy is awful. Um... I kind of have the same problem with Dangit Entertainment. I know they recently just axed their CEO. Uh, they fired him. They didn't kill him. Um, hey, key ring. That's good stuff. I'm going to try and avoid using keys for a while. Feel bad about the Stardock reboot of Control. Uh, Star Control. I think it was okay. Okay, uh, so what did the CEO do? Um, there was a lawsuit over whether or not the guy was... Wait, did that dude just fall into the... Like, float over and then fall into the pit, because I think that's what he did. Um. Well, we're doing okay despite despite the Dangridge. Um, anyway, so CEO for Stardock uh, got sued for uh, sexual harassment or effectively he was he was abusing a female employee at Stardock, she quit and then sued and lost. And I don't know the details of the case. Uh, it's probably worth it. Which one did that open? This one? Wait, what the hell did that do? Oh! Oh, that's, that's rough. Ah, oh, shit! Crap, this music is good. Uh, let's go buy some healing items. So it lowered a block. Oh boy. Ah, uh, we gotta go get some health. Uh, but yeah, so woman lost, and I don't really know the details of the case. I can't really comment on whether or not it was, it was, you know, actually justified for her to lose or not. Um, I'm gonna grab the season popcorn, just in case. We could use more healing items. Uh. But then the guy proceeded to start bragging it about it uh, on uh, on Twitter and like framed her public apology uh, framed her apology letter publicly in his office and has like pictures of it floating around Twitter and stuff. And it's like the guy might not actually be as bad as he seems. Uh, did that not lower anything? It didn't look like it was actually lowering anything there. That's weird. Maybe it only opens up one of those chambers. 
Uh, but yeah, can't comment one way or another on, like, how bad he actually is. Uh, he has also been in a long legal battle with the original Star Control devs over the IP. Yeah, and it's just, like, enough, I've seen enough of the guy to know that, like, I don't like him. And since he's still leading the studio, he probably gets the vast majority of the money from it. And I'm just like, I'll just wait until they get rid of him. Because there's so many other games out there and so many other developers out there that are nice, lovely people. Like, developers of Undermine, as far as I know. And so I'd rather play those games. Kind of similarly with, uh, Cult Simulator. The, the guy that was running that is not actually an okay dude. And he's not as bad as some people were, or have been, but he's, you know... <sighs> The games industry has way too many scumbags running the, running the show, and I feel like I'd rather support the ones that aren't. Oh shit, I can break those and get keys. Keep that in mind. What are other developers that I generally try and stay away from? Uh, that works. That's kind of... this is kind of neat. Uh, let's see, what was the other one? Uh, there was a game called Heartbeat that I played a while back. And, I mean, I, I've definitely talked about this one. Um, but Heartbeat's developers came out as particularly um, anti-trans. Uh, which actually was a little weird because I believe both both of the developers are lesbians. Uh, and so, like, I know there are people that are, uh, you know, gay that are anti-trans, but it always takes me back back when I find that one out because it's weird. TERFs? I honestly don't even know what TERF stands for, so I try and stay away from acronyms in case I use it wrong. Um... Let's see... Grab the pocket grill. Trans exclusionary react radical feminist. Weird. Uh, yeah. I mean, that's that's effectively what they are. Uh, do more throw damage at high health. Yeah, that's exactly what I want. But yeah, finding uh finding out that they were posting like some really hateful stuff. Uh, I immediately took down what few videos I had on the game. I think it was like three episodes, and I think I was one of the only people who have covered it on YouTube. Uh, which is probably good, but I had, like, a number of people show up and, like, kind of leave snide messages about why I took took my series down, and I'm like, I'll get out of here. Ow. Okay, do not step on thorns. This really shouldn't be much of a lesson for me, but, you know. Uh, let's see. But yeah, gener generally my modus operandi is to be as good to as many people as I possibly can. Uh, and so whenever I see anybody that's not, and is just kind of pointlessly cruel or mean, I'm just like, nah, I don't like you. I don't want to deal with you. And I'm not going to support you if I can avoid it. Oh, there's a curse room. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll go for it, just if I... Just in case I can up my HP a little bit more. Or maybe go damage? I don't know. We'll see. Like, I can see the twisted logic for it. But I can see the twisted logic in a lot of things. But I don't agree with it. And I find most people that have that kind of, like, belief system. Uh, usually just mean. Chance to crit. Hmm. That actually might be pretty good. Let's go. Let's go crit chance. Because, like, I don't know, I guess I already have enough negative feelings in my life just from stress and, you know, just life. And so, like, anytime I see somebody that's just, like, being hateful in any way, shape, or form, I'm just like, is it worth it? 
I've never actually... Oops, we don't want to drink that one. We want to drink this one. Sadly, the key... There is no bomb blade. Man, if there was bomb blade, I'd be super happy. Um... Like, I don't know. I... I'm always trying to find, like, the good in things and the happy stuff and... You know, not roast into glasses. I'm not just going to be like, the world is lovely. What are you talking about? There's no war in Ba Sing Se. I still haven't actually seen anything past Legend of Korra Season 2. I should probably do so at some point. Um, so I can actually get that reference. Um, okay, so that, that Berserker upgrade is actually kind of useful. Um... But I guess maybe it would be more so I try my hardest to only hate people that are already awful uh, to other people. Because that makes it easier on me, question mark. Eh, that's, ow. These enemies are hurting. Let's see. People are shit. Life is shit. Make the parts you can control better than shit. Yep. I think that might be part of the reason why I'm more sensitive to negativity as well. Because, like, I am trying to make everything what I can control a better place. Ah, uh, we should go this way to get access to a shop. I'm getting kind of low. Shotgun worms. That's a new one, and a hurdy one. At least we found the uh, shop pretty quick, so it's not so bad. Uh, let's see. Hey, Transmutogen Blast! Freaking finally! Wanted that for a while. Uh, let's see, Elixir would be pretty... Kind of redundant, but also good. Uh, let's see, double bombs again. Good. More bombs for unknown reasons. Yeah, I'm gonna just pick up the elixir. We don't need the float potion, we don't need the rest. Uh, let's see, bomb that. And no more sacrifice bombs. Not that they were actually uh, creating much of a problem for me, but still. I'm looking at my money count and I'm like, man, that's a lot of money. And then I realized, no, that's like one, maybe two upgrades worth. Seriously though, music in this area, super good. I, I think I've actually specifically talked about it, how the music in this game is like actually rather high qual high quality, shockingly high quality. Um, there have been a lot of games like that because Hades' music is, is absolutely brilliant. Uh, Darksiders Genesis I think has my favorite soundtrack of the year. here and listen to it for a bit.
pretty good. We can move on. I just want to listen to it for a little while. Because this, this song, this is a very good loop. Like, I, I've specifically noticed my myself kind of bobbing along a little bit. Of course, I immediately lose, like, ten people for do, doing that. But whatever, it's worth it. Um... It's just good. Best soundtrack is Baba is You. I feel like Shalanika should go back for that one, but like, that game was just harsh. Okay. I'm gonna drink this. Uh, let's see. Tincture just recovers a bit. Well, I guess we should grab the Potion of Plenty. Drink that. Because that'll get us a key and a bomb. Then we'll grab the Antimatter. We've got two Anti-Curse things, but I'm not particularly cursed right now. By the way, Dawning started in uh, Destiny 2. I just don't know if I'm going to have time for it in the same way that I did last time. Alright, boss time. Uh, let's see, I've got two antimatter, so we'll probably start with those. Disco Elysium. Uh, Funky Tune is amazing. Disco Elysium is fantastic. I don't know how many of you guys have seen my playthrough of it. Oh god, the music here got really, really loud. Okay, I had that at 50%. Okay, this is going to be an issue. This guy is not level 1. Nope. I'm a level 2, which is an issue. Luckily, the boss himself isn't so bad. Okay. Jump when he spits. Ah, oh, shit. Did that hit me? That's an issue. Uh, pickaxe? Well, I think I lose. Yep. I don't have a pickaxe anymore. It sailed off screen. Uh, so what happened to the pickaxe? The bounce made it hit something off screen, and it's not coming back. Uh, that's unfortunate. I, at least I got an achievement for saving the full heal potion, but like, what was the point? I could have healed, but it wouldn't have done anything. It happened to me as well. Lost my pickaxe on this run. Eh, sucks. That's not the end of the world, but... Like... I hope they fix that end soon. I could have used bombs. <laughs> I they I don't think they would have actually had the range to hit the boss. I found the worst bug at the worst time. Yeah, I did. Uh, let's see. So options are oh, I can almost get the di diamond studded pack. I should probably upgrade my max HP. But I'm gonna upgrade my damage. Like a glove. Oh, hey, that actually maxes that out. Cool. Uh, let's see. Let's learn. So, explosiveness. Learning that, obviously. Okay. We know about that. How do I change what resurrection level I'm on? Well, we could upgrade bomb damage, but I don't... Yeah, I could do it. Keep key in the wizard room, apparently. Oh, summoning stone level.
Well, this means I could just completely beast the game for a little while. I don't think it would actually help that much. Um, but yeah, if I wanted to tune it down, I could. I think... I'm trying to decide. I think no matter what, this will be the end, end of Undermine for tonight. I think I'll want to play more tomorrow. Um, maybe, because I'm I am actually enjoying this this game again. The fact that you can change that, like I'll probably turn it down to three. I think three is three is easier for me to work with. Anything past that is going to be blisteringly difficult. Um, does mean I'm gonna get less money, but that's okay because they carry over from run run to run anyway. Um, and yeah, we'll just come back to this probably tomorrow because I don't I don't really have any new games coming out over the course of this winter. Uh, like, games don't start coming out until next next January, and even then it's like mid-January before they really start coming out. So that means I've got a lot of leeway on what and where and who and how and whatnot. So why don't we... Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll stop here. We'll pick, it, pick this back up tomorrow. I gotta give my wrist a little bit of a break, because this game specifically uh, is a little hard on it. Or maybe I've just been playing too many games. I don't know. I need to. I need to start like playing RimWorld or something to have something really, really slow and boring, uh, just so I can take it, take it slow. <laughs>